places you But there's talk of legislation Or all of medication And maybe all we can do Is put a little of pain here Hundreds of Tea Party protesters gathered Thursday afternoon in front of University Mall to protest everything from government spending, high taxes, the recent health care legislation, and a, a plethora of other uh, governmental issues that they had issue with. Excuse me, ma'am, can I get your name? Linda Ward. Uh, Linda, can I ask you uh, what it is you're protesting today, Linda? Everything that Obama stands for. Jim Hartley, I live in Pensacola, and I'm protesting here today because I'm afraid that the American government is taking away our constitutional rights, taking away our money through unfair taxation, and depriving us of our life and liberty and pursuit of happiness. And, you know, that's what it's all about, is working, earning money, and making your family happy and providing what your family needs. And that's basically why I'm here. I'm Lou Labonte. I've been doing this for uh, for a year now. Uh, my first one was a year ago, and uh, uh, I think it's important for people to speak up if they don't like the way things are going. And what are you protesting specifically, sir? Uh, mostly the, the, the out of control government that we have. My name is Michelle Grubb. I'm protesting what this administration and this Congress is doing to our constitutional rights. That they're infringing on them, and they're illegally passing laws that infringe on our rights. Hi, I'm Judy Roberts. I'm here because I'm very worried about our country, all the out of control spending, and I'm worried about what this country's going to be like for my children and grandchildren. Jerry Bliss, B L I S S. And Jerry, can you tell us why you're out here protesting at University Mall today? Uh, the tax issues, the way everything's been pushed down our throats, and. Uh, the names that we've been called, Dennis Wojcicki. Uh, Dennis, why are you out here protesting today? I'm out here because I believe in America, and I think that what's going is going wrong about a country. And Obama's not doing a good job with it. Congress not doing a good job with it. They're making so many changes, and we got to pay for it. Someone's got to pay for it. And it's sure not going to be it, you know, left up for us. It's going to be left up for generations to come if they continue to do it. I'm Diane Cunningham. I'm out here today protesting the government takeover of our United States. We need to get back to the original Constitution, one nation under God, we need to put God back in our country totally. I'm Lisa Kirkman, I own the Kirkman Company, and I'm here protesting because I do want to get to the point where I can't run my business any longer because I have to spend too much time filling out government paperwork or giving too much of the money that I earn to the government. Right now I'm working two careers, have my specialty business that's 22 years old, and I also make uh, artistry out of glass, and I work a lot of hours, and I'm paying a, a lot in taxes, and a little bit too much. That's why I'm here. This is John Baker. He's one of the organizers of the Pensacola Tea Party. John, tell us a little bit about, uh, about why you guys organize this protest here at University Mall. Well, we're here to create awareness. A lot of people ride down the roads here and listen to the radio, to music. They're not even aware of the fact that the major changes are taking place in their lives by people that are not representing them truthfully. Locally, how many members do you have here, John, in Pensacola and in the surrounding area? Well, there's no way to tell because we have a mailing list. And we don't count them as members because we have no control over them. We don't get any information except their name, email address. So we don't know if they're Republicans, Democrats, if they're in debt, if they're educated. Uh, we know if they're rednecks, only if they speak with a southern accent. But uh, no, we, we really don't have members per se.